We're at the Day Young Museum, and the first exhibit we're gonna go check out is the Frida Kahlo exhibit, and unfortunately, we're not allowed to film in there, so if you can't film, you're not gonna be able to see anything. I'm gonna walk towards the exhibit, turn the camera off, and then come out and tell you how it was. Before we can actually get into the Frida Kahlo exhibit, we have to go wait in line, and that line requires us to walk through this stuff, so we get to see a little bit of cool stuff first. I legitimately asked for permission if I could film videos in the museum and they said yes just not in the Frida Kahlo exhibit and then another guy saw me and said I can't film videos at all but I can take pictures so I don't know waiting on the third opinion here guys this might just be a photo slide video this is actually amazing look at this guy All right, we're out of the De Young Museum. I'm super sorry we weren't really allowed to film in there. It's 3.51. Took us about three hours to go through the De Young Museum. It's pretty awesome. Hi, this is Future Reezy. I actually forgot to tell you that my daughter Alyssa, my 20 year old daughter and her boyfriend Ryan are gonna be joining us for today's vlog. So when you see them, now you know who they are. When you exit the De Young Museum, go to the right. There's this white dome structure and it has some really cool acoustic properties. Hopefully if we can get Luna to sing, we'll be able to demonstrate those for you. All right, so this dome has an outside structure and in the outside structure, whispers are really amplified so you can talk in whisper and you can hear it all around the circle even though you can't see each other. But inside the central area, besides the massive amount of reverb that you can hear, there is the central area, which is supposedly like magnified, kind of like the amphitheater at Pompeii. Mathematics, let's try it. Ah, uh, wow, this is so amazing. Nope, nope, you can't come in it, it's only me. <laughs> Figaro, Figaro, Figaro. Huh? This sounds so amazing. <laughs> oh. It sounds so different, huh? Okay, yeah, I can hear it now. Does it sound different? Yeah. Don't you want to try, Ryan? Uh, no, I'm good. Are you sure? Yeah. It's literally insane. You got it, bro. You got it. Uh, uh, it's flat there. There's like, there's no reverb. Oh, I feel like it has like multiple reverbs and delays happening. It's so crazy, huh? All right, I gotta try this one more time. Okay, I'm not in the circle, look. I am not in the circle, and there's the circle. Do I don't know if the camera can pick it up. Let me try one more time. Definitely sounds much more rich and full when you stand here. Big it all. All right, I'm done. Bonk. Why is that so fun? Even though I don't sing. What do you think, Ryan? Oh, it's pretty tight. <laughs> Oh, it's yeah. pretty tight. Pretty tight. I was not ready for that. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty tight. It's pretty tight. Luna, what do you think? Pretty cool. 
All right, we're currently on our way to a garden. I don't know which garden. It might be the tea garden. It might be the botanical garden. We're going to a garden. Stay tuned. I got bad news, guys. Check it out. Botanical garden's closed. I guess we're gonna go to the tea garden after we move the car. Stop it. Did you get any? You all up in your gym? Exposed. Stop. I'm not doing anything. I'm not doing anything except playing Pokemon. Pokey busted. We're heading into the Japanese tea garden, or we're going to try to head into. We're not 100% sure if we're gonna be able to get in because it's later in the afternoon and they close in like two hours. Oh, they close in 30 minutes, so we might not be able to get in, but we definitely wanna get in. Look how dope it looks. Of course you wanna go in. Rosa, what was your favorite stuff at the De Young Museum? The Frida Kahlo exhibit. Specifically, anything? Her clothing. Was there any new stuff we didn't see at the other one? No. The drawing. The sketches. No, I think you just paid attention a little bit more. What about you, Luna? What did you think about the Dion Museum? I really Museum? like um, the Frida Kahlo outfit. Same as her. What else? Any other exhibit? Uh, no. You didn't like any of the paintings or sculptures? I liked all of it. I just, if I had to pick one, it'd be the Frida Kahlo dresses. What about the apples outside in the yard? That was funny. Or the big fruit bowl. <laughs> yeah? I Alyssa, what did you think fun. about the De Young Museum? I like the glass, the blown glass stuff. I yeah. like the raindrops, the room that had the raindrops in it. Nice. What about you, Ryan? I like the, that one really big um, picture by the bathroom. Oh, or at the, the end? Yeah, yeah, The yeah. triple yeah, that, horror like, story face. or whatever? Yeah. yeah. They look like a neck face piece or something. Yeah, actually. That thing was dope. Yeah, so my favorite thing at the De Young Museum was the carved text block thing. So, and I don't know if that's because I'm partial to it because it's books and it's Amazon related or whatever, but that was super, super deep. Obviously the sculptures and everything was really dope, but that was uh, the piece that I saw that really made me think. So that was kind of cool. That was the one that I liked the most. Good news guys. We're gonna get to go into the tea garden. I'm pretty pumped about this one. Never been in there, but I really, really love Japanese culture, so I'm super pumped. All right, so we just got into the tea garden, and it is so dope. It's so beautiful in here, guys. It's very tranquil. I'm already overwhelmed, and I haven't even walked five feet since I came in. Wow, look at this, what? This is epic. I definitely should not be doing this with a broken toe, but how could you not do this? Yes, I'm on top of the world, or at least the, uh, the tea garden. This is really rad. All right, real quick guys, I'm gonna do something super cool. I have the GoPro Max camera, which is a 360 camera on a pole, which I can extend, and I'm gonna take a 360 tiny planet photo of me at the top of the bridge with the pole extended in the camera below the bridge. The pole will be invisible in this photo, so it should be pretty exciting, but it's kind of like a film photo because when I take it, I have no idea what the end result is gonna look like until I put it to the phone and mess with it a little bit, but I'll do that and then I'll share it with you guys, so it should be exciting. So pumped to see what that photo looks like. We can't see it till we get back to the hotel. I gotta open the app, play with it and whatever, but it'll be dope. All right guys, that's a wrap on the tea garden. Now it's time for us to go figure out what we're gonna eat for dinner. And I'm actually super pumped because we've been eating at really good places here in the city and it's all new to us. So can't wait to see what we're gonna eat. Tell me about the tea garden. I would think it is very beautiful and it reflects culture. Japanese culture. What was your favorite thing? This giant bridge. The super warped out yeah. bridge? That thing was hard to climb, huh? <laughs> yeah. All right, kids will love that for sure, huh? Yeah. What else, the big koi fish? Yeah, those things are cool. And did you like the beautiful cherry blossom trees? Yes. You know, we almost named you Sakura. Really? Which seems kind of weird, but it means cherry blossom in Japanese. Are you telling the truth? I swear to God, we were watching a lot of Naruto back then. <laughs>
Thank God we came up with Luna instead, right? Uh-huh. This reminds me of the Animal Crossing snow sound. Look at Luna's in Animal Crossing in San Francisco. All right, turns out not as hungry as we thought we were. So we're gonna save dinner for later and we're gonna go straight to dessert right now. We're gonna head over to a spot I've never been to called Beard Papa's and they have cream puffs, which obviously that'll be good. I'm so in love with the old signs from the businesses here in San Francisco. Check this one out. How cool is that? Super random, but I just remembered something that I really liked about the De Young Museum, and that was the Andy Goldsworthy exhibit, or the artwork done by Andy Goldsworthy for the museum, which is actually right in the entrance. So right when you go to the De Young Museum, before you get in, there's actually a crack in the sidewalk, and it's artificial. It's actually art made by Andy Goldsworthy. If you don't know who Andy Goldsworthy is, look him up. He is an amazing artist. He works with nature, with natural stuff. Super unorthodox, just super, super duper cool. So the crack runs all the way from the front, from the street, all the way to the entrance, and then through the foyer and into the museum. And on its way into the museum through the foyer, it bisects several very large stones. And those stones are all actually from Andy Goldsworthy's hometown in the UK, which is super rad. So they were imported, cracked the ground on purpose, straight through the rock. It's just dope, it's dope. Confession, we went to a place that was in a mall that's closed because of COVID. So that entire journey was a waste, but guess what? We found an ice cream shop a block away, so now we're going over there. What are you getting, Luna? I got the cereal killer. What's in there? Just basically a cereal and ice cream. We got ice cream, Rosa Guts ice cream. Luna has way too much ice cream. I'm gonna have to help you finish that. No? What do you got? Strawberries, blueberries, bananas, whipped cream, graham crackers, and Nutella. Mmm, Nutella, I missed that. You're gonna be up all night, kid. Whew. All right, today was pretty fun. We're back at the hotel now, and I am gonna grab the photos off the GoPro, import them to my phone, and then show you guys what the final product looks like. I'm pretty pumped because, like I said, it's kind of like film camera in a way that I have no idea what the tiny planet photo is gonna look like when I take it until I put it on my phone until right now. So you guys are gonna experience this with me, which is pretty fun. All right, let's get to it. Turn on the GoPro, get to do that. Open the, uh, the GoPro app. Let's get that going. Pow, GoPro app. We're going to go to view media. This is actually really exciting. So let's see if it connects. We're gonna join. Funny thing, I put the name of my GoPro as my phone number. That way, if I lose my GoPro and someone tries to connect it to their phone or whatever, it will say, if lost, please text. And then my phone number, which is actually kind of a cool little hack that I have going. All right, cool. So we are in here now. All right, here's the photos from today. Select one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I took a bunch. I just wanted to make sure I definitely got it. So we're now we're saving the uh, the clippies. Each one of these pictures is about eight megabytes, also, so it takes a while. We're now ready to press view media. Let this page load, and then three, two, one, pow! Press that one. Now let's press the 360 thing, and let's go see what we're working with. So this is where I have it, the stick above. Let me actually put my glasses on so I can see this better. Oh, that's so much better. Being able to see is so good. So this is cool, but I don't think this is the shot I wanted. I wanted to get that really, the low shot, I think is gonna be the one that looks really, really good. But still, even with the, uh, the 360 camera, you can reframe some really cool shots. Like this is a dope portrait shot. And you're like, what? Who's taking this picture? You can barely see the stick there in my hand. Otherwise, you're like, what? Who, who took this photo? Okay, so let's go. Ooh, this is the straight out shot. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting more of what we want. Wow, you could do so much cool stuff with these photos. The trees around the edges are so large, it kind of makes it hard to make a nice tiny planet, especially with the bridge. You might end up just doing something like this. Nice portrait story image right there. That's pretty clean. And you can export it. What do you want? Four, three, one, one. Save it for the gram. Ooh, I think this is the one. Yeah, this might be the one. This just looks ridiculous. 
Like you don't even know what, what's happening right now. That's so ridiculous. Nice, okay. Banger, wow. It already looks just ridiculous. <laughs> this is insane. It's so crazy because it distorts the shape so much, but when the shapes are already like something you're not familiar with, it really freaks it. Like, look at that. You don't even know what just happened. All right, so let me show you guys some of the finished photos here. So we got this one. I like that one a lot, a lot. Another version of that one. We got a TP over here. Whew, that's nice. Especially with the buildings in the background, the cherry blossoms. I like that. That's real nice. Path leading up to it. Mm -hmm. Spider dome, this thing's crazy. Ooh, this is a boss picture. A lower angle looks more bossy. And this one's just ridiculous on some MC Escher ish that's a nice little photo right there sick all right tomorrow we are going to the van gogh immersive experience it is supposed to be really cool i'm really excited but we're not actually going until 9 p.m in the evening i don't know why it must be hard to get tickets or something but those are the tickets that we got so what we're gonna do in the daytime is freestyle we're gonna go explore the city we're gonna eat food we'll probably hop on the metro or or go to some different places doing whatever we can take luna to some parks but basically just freestyle exploring and having a good time in the city so make Make sure you tune in for tomorrow's video like this video subscribe if you want to see more drop a comment if you got anything to say i'm gonna hit you back have a good day guys see you on the next one peace